Hey everybody. Hello. Back with Darlene. She's gonna show me her top five winter fragrances that she would want to smell mm. on other people. Would you consider these sexy or cozy or both? Both. Both. Okay. All right. I will indicate which are one or the other mm -hmm. and which are both. Let's do it. I'm gonna leave everything linked in the description so you can follow along at the same time. But go ahead and show us. All right. Because... Let's start with the designers first then. Okay. I have like two to three designers. All the right. first one that I would love to smell and it's Ooh. one of, it's just, it's so good every time of the year, but it's also so cozy is Ombre Nui. I literally made a video about this fragrance today, about it being my all time favorite. It's Funny that you chose that. She didn't know. She hasn't seen that video yet. Yeah, no. But I, but I'm going for a lot of like warm, spicy type of fragrances because yeah. that's like the best time to wear them is mm. winter. Yeah, yeah. I love Ombre Nuit. Yeah, it's like my it's my favorite. Scent. It's 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 yeah, it's yummy. I really like it. Solid choice. Okay, number two. Number two is Spice Bomb. Ooh. Is this the extreme? Yeah, the extreme. Spice Bomb extreme. Yeah. Damn, she it, does uh, love that one. Victor and Rolf. This is a really nice one. Again, spicy. Yeah. I think it's sexy and cozy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This has a really nice scent trail. Yeah. So, and again, her nose, if like if anybody's new, she's not like a, a fragrance connoisseur like a lot of you are. She's just like a regular person that you're going to meet on the street. So this is what a lot of people actually like. And this is what she loves. So thank you, Dar, for giving us your input. So show us number three. This is in no order. In particular though, right? Or is it? No, there's no order. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did she just call me average? No, 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 no. She I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She does. Um, so number three was kind of a tie, but whichever. It's the Lanoui de Lome by YSL. Love this one is, uh, any time of the year is great, yeah. but especially for cozy season. This is also very cozy and sexy, yeah. in my opinion. This is mwah, 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 mwah. That, mwah, mwah. out of all of them you mentioned is the weakest in performance, so overspray it, but oh, know. it's super, super sexy. Yeah, and just like an overall shout out for a designer one would be the By the Fireplace by Replica. Yeah, that's yeah, a good one too. This one is, you've been going through this too. But... I have. See, it's small little tiny dent on mm -hmm. it almost had it over a year okay and i have two niche ones and let's swap love. let's swap all right <laughs> okay so the first one is um eight and bob's egypt another warm spicy yummy dude you got some good ones cozy oh, it's sexy and also i think this one can be worn like anybody can wear this mm -hmm. like i've worn this before when i was stunting in like a nice emerald green dress it's very nice. Totally unisex. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. You know what? She was the one that actually put me onto that fragrance. Like I've smelt it before, but when she sprayed it for the first time and like we smelt it on the test trip and she was saying how much she liked it, that's when I was like, oh my God, why have I never looked at this one it's really like this nice. before? But yeah, you put me on the map for that one. So that one's like Egypt. I, yeah. I see it a little bit more on like date nights, winter yeah. nights. Winter Just nights. if you're going out to watch the Christmas lights and stuff like that. Yeah. Any of these, I think, are just, like, perfect for it. Sexy or cozy real quick? Uh, sexy. Oof, that one's sexy. I would agree. Um, would agree. okay, this one is, like, really loud, and I typically don't really like smelling this on any other time of the year. Yeah. But this was made for this time of the year. Okay, okay. It's Rasala. Dang! Yes, I, that's a beast right there. It, yeah, it's, um, how would you describe this to smell? It's very potent. It smells like oud, saffron, and rose. Like, yeah. those are the three things I smell for the two days it's gonna be on your skin. And there's also chocolate and vanilla, but that comes later. Yeah, it's it's loud and sexy. And I think the first time you, you sprayed this, it mm. stayed downstairs. Like the smell God. stayed downstairs for a really long time. Yeah. And would you say it's like almost nauseating? Yeah, when you're wearing it, for me, I, I cannot wear this one a lot. I don't think I've worn it recently just cause it is headache inducing for me. But if you can handle like really strong fragrances. If you mm -hmm. want something to literally last you two to three days without reapplying, then this is the fragrance for you. It's a beast mode scent. Yeah, I think if if I were to wear this, again, this is something that I'd like to smell on other people aside from like Egypt yeah. and Bob. Yeah. Um, but if, if I were to smell this in public, it, it would catch your attention. Yeah, exactly. Because it's so loud and like, yeah. Even with, I think, just one spray on your back and you're just walking past somebody, yeah, like you'll you'll stand out. That's what I did on, but I did it on like some random part of my arm. It wasn't even on a pulse point. It was on my skin, 
It filled every single room I was in. A huge head turner. So out of all the fragrances, that's the loudest. And La Nuit de Lhomme is the weakest in performance. Yeah. So easy on that trigger. Very heavy on YSLs. Mm -hmm. But shout out Dar. Thank you. Those are her top five for the winter that she thinks would be sexy cozy on yeah. everybody. So hope you have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.